All right, uh, so back again for another Guild War video. Uh, for those of you who know it, who may or may not have been paying attention, I uh, oops, sorry about that. I uh, forgot to upload a video for Friday's Guild War uh, last week. This is going to be Monday's Guild War. I'm probably going to upload this on Tuesday, so all my Guild War videos are one day after the Guild War. So I didn't upload one on Saturday. For Friday's Guild War because I actually just forgot to do Friday's Guild War. Uh, it's kind of what happens when you make videos. Um, you're like. Oh, I'm gonna do the Guild War video and then you put it off because like because normally you could just sign in and do your Guild War in the morning and not care But like I have to sign in and do my Guild War and then make the video of it while I'm doing it and have to pay more attention uh, And I got to do it on my computer and it's just like you know, it's just annoying um, But anyway en enough uh, complaining. Let's kind of get in here and see what we can do. Take a look at our defenses here um, We probably like, we're just being ignored I think so I got attacked. So this is the this is Friday's Guild War um, I think yeah, today, yeah, today is Monday. I'm kind of losing my mind here. Um, so we lost down here. I'm just trying out fighter Maya just cause I wanted like another threat to like, basically the point is she's doing a good job of covering her, but you kind of need someone right here to like encourage them to, uh, to AOE. Well, She's encouraging them to AoE. Landy is encouraging them already. You need to discourage them is what I meant to say. So you kind of like have to run a threat here to make sure they don't want to AoE you. Now, this isn't a very good threat. This is why you run uh, her. Because if you AoE her, she's just going to like not die and then move up forward. Um, you know, theoretically. But I'm using her up there, which looks like it's working out pretty well so far, I think. Um, but I, I need something else here. And I got to figure out what that's going to be. Like if I had like... I mean... Normally, who I really do like down here is uh, the Cerise. Like, she's probably the best combination for this because Cerise is water, so she beats fires, which, um, you know, people are going to run a lot of fires against you if you're running Landy on defense here. Uh, so, like I said, uh, that's probably why. Now, the other person I might run would probably going to be Bellion as soon as she comes out because I'm going to summon for her. I'm not gonna, I don't know if I'm going to pull her. We'll find out, right? Um, you'll, you guys will see that video. Um but yeah, so Belly this will probably be her, Bellion, and, and her. Um, we're probably going to get CC to death. This is the other reason I wanted her was not only does she discourage AoEs, but she also like helps out with some CCs because it's hard to like do that to her. Um, but we'll see. Um, let's go. It's why, it's why I tried out in that third position. I tried bringing uh, the uh, Kisei. I tried having the Kisei, but Kisei just there to kill one person at the beginning. And, you know, she's probably going to get out sped half the time anyway. I feel like bringing... Let's see. Up here, we're going to bring the fire people. So we're picking... Uh, let's see. The fire people. I'm, kind of, I'm being kind of down here. Um, actually, yeah, I wonder who I should bring. Because I, I, I've geared my adventure Raz, so I, I want to test him out. Adventure Raz is on a really bad build, by the way. He's like, yeah, he's on a really bad build. Uh, let's bring you. Should I bring, I mean, last time we brought her, she died. So let's just bring a uh, good old carrot and make sure we get that um, down and over with there. Uh, my Adventure Raz is on a really bad build. He's got like 2000 HP. He's built like a bruiser. He's got 100% crit chance and like 200 crit damage, um, which isn't very, like it's very low crit damage. Um, so it, it, like, if you're going to build them like that, you need to have at least 250 crit damage if you want to be like a quote unquote bruiser, um, with 2000 HP. But if you can't hit those stats with 250 crit damage, you need to like draw, you need to just forget about that and go with like 2500 HP, um, whatever. But I need him to be fast. And, uh, the only speed neck I have that has like 16 speed and, you know, get some, the build I have on him gets him to where I need, like in terms of every other stat except his HP. Um, but the, the neck I'm using is a crit chance neck that has the speed and a bunch of other stats I need. Um, <laughs> it's like no one else is using that. And I was just like, well, I'll just give it to him and kind of use him as a bruiser. Um, but it's not a very good RTA build either because he runs out of HP very fast in RTA. And now his damage scaling is kind of reduced drastically. Um, so we're going to try this up here. I don't know how it's going to work, but we'll find out. Uh, down here, we're going to bring Landy. Uh, Oh well, it's already down there. There you go. This is how this is how common and spammy this team is. Um, we, uh, yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna bring instead of bringing 
uh, her, I'm gonna probably bring, where is she? Um, the Reviver, here you go. We'll bring you to get the attack buff and the uh, healing and the revival because Kral's probably just going to murder one of us. Let's see. Um, so what I like to do here is I don't always like to do the S... Um, the S2 right off the bat. Now, it's probably the best situation here. Um, I think. Uh, okay, I had to put it out there for my on my end. But I th feel like the S3... I don't know what to do here. Cause, so this is going to bring whoever the highest attacker is, right? And that should be her. That's not really that useful. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, I probably sh she should probably shouldn't have been who I brought. If I was going to bring Raz. Um, can we... Is that worth doing? Now nah, we're just gonna get the defense buff up before we get uh, buff blocked because we don't have uh, the cleanse anymore from the from the Lilius. Um, so we're just gonna try this. Let's see if we can hit the um, uh, hit the um, Landy there. Okay, we did not. See if I can hit her with this and see if I pop her. Raz, you imbecile! Cause that oh, okay. So Raz almost messed that up for us and I almost got annoyed there. Um because if Raz had lowered her to the to the threshold that she needs to trigger her S2, she would have just triggered it and cleansed the the, the, the burns off before before they popped, and then if they would have popped, she wouldn't have died, so. And I know that because it happens all the time. Sometimes I'm just like, let me see if I can just hit her real quick. And then, nah, it doesn't, it doesn't work. It doesn't pan out the way I want it to. So that's kind of that. Um, I think we're doing pretty good here. I guess I'm probably just going to use this. So we burn, so we burn her, we pop her burns real quick. And we, oh, I, I guess my Ravi's already uh, passed her in their attack. Because that's, she's, she, she took her turn and then she got hit. So that's two stacks, which is pretty crazy. She's already passed. Um, so now my Raz S2 is worth using more comp more often. Um, so let's uh, let's just hit you. Okay. Let's see if I have the S3. Yeah, I do. I'm gonna use this. Uh, so she did take. She took her turn and she got hit once. So that's already that's what thirty percent attack on her, and she's got like thirty two attack. So. I guess it's uh, not too bu too much of a mystery that she did that. Once more. Of course, she crit. Uh, fortunately for me, I had defense barrier there. Wow, she actually she actually did pretty like I guess the, the number is kind of low, right? But uh, the amount of like the percentage of the bar looked like it did take off a decent chunk. He didn't like half hit her, but that's not his job anyway. So okay, so she basically did as much as that crit did. Fifteen. As you can see there, she's not doing much damage because my um, my carrot's below 4,000. That's not like an artistic choice. That's just uh, my gear isn't that good on her. I took some of her gear off and gave it to other people. Um, yeah, let's just hit you. Get some healing going. Uh, my Ravi has too much health. I need to like drop some health for more uh, defense so that her healing scales better because uh, for those of you who remember I said last time, I think we're gonna lose Raz, but I don't really like. This is the first time I'm bringing Raz into anything, so um, I won't miss him very much. And there you go, he's still alive. Uh, which is actually kind of bad because now he's gonna like take an S1 from her, which could have been someone else. Um, like anyone else would have been more uh, ha would have had a higher benefit to getting hit like that. Uh, now she keeps getting into stealth, and I'm getting kind of annoyed here. So let's just hit you with this. And Sigurd Scythe and everything killed her. Nice. Let's see if we can kill her with a one shot. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, we did. Okay. Uh, so, like I said, uh, right, we lost Raz, but that's fine because I have gone every Guild War I've ever gone without ever using Raz. So, if he's gone now, then it's not that big a deal. Um, so, let's get this. Uh, I just realized the major problem we have is that um, I'm dumb. <laughs> uh, I really should have brought. 
Crowl, because then Crowl could just S3 him, or just anyone really. <laughs> um, I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna hit you. I wonder. I wonder. Kind of build his um, ML Ken is on because that's like he's very slow. I guess. I mean, I guess that's base speed, but it, he just looks like so far behind. Usually base speed, like because I bring in Ram into a lot of stuff. Base speed is like right here, like in the middle. But he was like way up here, he was like way right there. Okay, so that's... So this this shouldn't stun us, but I'm gonna... I'm, it, I'm you know, I usually get dropped by stuff like this, so I'm probably gonna get stunned. Nope. Okay. Crowd's just really annoying on defense because of uh, his defense buff with the, with the Aureus, it's like insane. There's nothing wrong with it necessarily, mind you. It's just, you know, excessively irritating to deal with. Uh, let's activate this because oh, I should probably should have done that. Till, I should have waited till after ML Ken did his thing, because um, he's about to defense break probably most of us. Um, so let's try to see. Can I CC you? Okay, so I can CC Crow, uh, so he's probably not gonna be that big a deal. Um, yeah, he's he's very uh, CCable. So his S3 shouldn't be that big a deal. Uh, the only thing we're gonna have to deal with is ML Ken, like countering on our S1s. And I kind of want to see how much damage this uh, ML Ken does. <laughs> I wonder if I can CC the ML Ken. I'll probably just hit him with uh, one of. Well. Let's, let's hit you. Oh my gosh. We're just getting all the free stuns. Okay. Let's hit you with this. Wait, how much revert? Oh, I'm out of revive. Okay, never mind. Oh, and he didn't even have the... Uh... So that's perfect. Uh, let's... let's fire this off. I want to see how much damage I do to the Ken. Okay, I think I can just uh, hit the Ken with the one, um, with an S1. Hopefully I don't die. Well, I didn't crit him, so I don't know if that was a good or a bad thing. Um, come on, let's see if we can stun him. Okay, so he is going to kill somebody. I'm not sure who, though. Hopefully he kills the MLCC because she's taking the most damage. Or he tries to kill MLCC, but he went for the right one. Oh, she has revive. Cool, never mind. I was worried there for a second, but uh, fortunately we had revive. Because we lost revive on like everyone except for her, <laughs> so I was like worried. Uh, but I guess you know everything was fine. Uh, let's CC you. Yeah, this is why you need to like if you're gonna have a crowd on defense, you really like. I mean, you don't need hit, you know he doesn't have to be like 300 effect resistance, but you need to like not let him be, especially with the two most prevalent knights in the meta right now being MLCC and. Um, Kitty Clarissa, or not Kitty Clarissa, what's her name? Uh, Kitty Armin, or just Carmen. Um, those two both have 100% uh, proc chance on their taunt S1s. And people like Crow, like you can just, you know, I'm just going to hit him with that, and then there you go, it's over. Um, he's basically locked down. Now he's still got his S3 off, so that, you know, it's not that big a deal in terms of like not having a lot of CC, but you know what I mean? Like, you kind of need some effect resistance on him. The fact that they had like zero was kind of what lost him there. Uh, so there's no more that we can just kind of stomp on to like get the points real quick. So again, you can kind of attack and kind of attack this, but you really don't want to. You want to make sure you give someone else like the, so we don't waste three attacks, but like, no. So I could attack this one and that, there you go. We, we, we got one. But if you ever see one that's like this, don't attack it. Um, this is what you don't want to attack. Because we already wasted one attack. Now we have to waste two more to get these points when we could be attacking any other one. So, you know, don't don't waste another attack on this because that's kind of like a waste of time. Because you can't beat it in one attack. Now this one we can give someone like a turn to like um, to get up there. Now what am I going to do here? I like... I like G-Perg because she's probably going to go first. Um, I'm In case we might be able to go uh, first or whatever, we're going to go with uh, Kisei, Blue Kisei. 
and I'm going to go with uh, this team is probably going to lose. I want to point out specifically. Now, I mean that's kind of just to cover my ass in case I do lose, but I think we're going to lose. Let me see. hold on. Let me pick the last one before I get uh, confused here for a second. Um, who? Yeah, where are you? Uh, we're looking for. Uh, we're looking for. Here we go. Ko Kawazum. So the idea with this team is she should delete her him, and then he's going to get hit by this get boosted forward and his job is going to be to kill her and then you know we deal with her at the end or whatever but um in general you know what we'd go from here is is what we go from here who needs editing when you have the power of pausing your recording <laughs> um but anyway uh so yeah that's the idea uh Mui's gonna go first probably hit us all boost us forward as long as Mui doesn't like stun or like do anything too horrible uh kise is gonna go kill the uh strays uh, Inferno Kawazu is going to kill the Luna, and um, Mui by herself doesn't really do very much. Um, unless, well, she's probably going to kill Kisei, but, you know, it is what it is. I have to figure out what I'm doing down here, though. I do need immunity. Okay, here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take... Where are you? I'm going to take ML Krau. Uh, because he's the only other, he's the only unit I have that gives out immunity and is fast. Obviously, um, Crimson Armin gives out immunity, but she's not fast enough to, to outspeed the, um, now I do lose 50 50 to her because if she's built fast enough, she's like 240, but a lot of people kind of drop her speed for some attack because she has the CR push. Um, so 240 is around, uh, like super fast ones, but I don't meet that many super fast ones, so usually we get, um, you know, they're not that fast, is the point. Uh, we'll probably ring you. I actually don't know who to bring here. Um, we need to bring, I'm probably gonna bring Crow. Uh, should we double Crow this? Maybe. That doesn't seem too bad. Um, so Crow's job is going to be to kill him. Violet's job is going to be to kill her. And then his job is just to be harassing them with AoE. Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem too bad. I think I'm just going to go with that. Maybe I should bring Spectre Tenebria. I have my, my Spectre Tenebria is actually built. And I, I kind of like where she's at right now. Um, but I don't use her that much. I don't know if I should build some kind of like protect Tenebria comp or something like that. Let's just get in there and see what happens. Okay. I'm going to point out, for those of you who have been watching these Guild War videos, every time I've gone into a Mui, she's procced her EE that lets her take an extra turn. But we didn't this time, so this is why we're going to win. Uh, before And before we lose. So sometimes this doesn't kill because she's only got 84 crit chance, and she killed him. Okay. Yeah. And she's, she's missing two Mola. Uh, well, she's missing more like six Mola, I think is what it is. Basically, the bottom line is she's missing uh, Molas to upgrade, to max out her S3. And we're going to kill you. Because I don't want to be dealing with this uh, S3 nuke. So we, we hit her for 1,800. My question is why? That was weird. Because normally I hit people for 1,400. Oh, that might be like damage sharing. So I guess raw, I hit people for fourteen for eighteen. Huh, that's something to keep in mind. Cause that that should always be true damage, right? That does not that's not affected by defense. So no matter what unit you hit it on, you're gonna be doing the same amount of damage. So that's something to be to be uh, caught, uh, weary about. I'm gonna hit him with this. So as you can see, I have portrait on her just cause why not? I mean, yeah, just why not really? Um, a lot of people run her on um, 
A lot of people do run her on the, what's it called? The, well, some people run her on RNL, which I think is fine, but it, the proc chance is so low because mine's like 15% because I don't have it maxed. But the proc chance is so low that it's like, eh. Um, I'd rather have like, instead of 20% of like using two moves, I'd rather just increase one move by 20%, right? Um, so fortunately we outsped the Politus, which like I said, it's not always guaranteed. Okay, so we got the counter. We didn't get the counter on the Rem, which is pretty decent because <laughs> you want to be careful with Rem because you bring I, I bring Crow into her because um, he feeds off of her S twos, but you still don't want her countering that much because then you know they can't get out of hand and like it's just annoying. But I feel like the problem now is that she didn't get one off, so we're about to like. Oh, there's that. That's good. We get our. Uh, we get this. Oh, I forgot. I always forget she does that. That's fine. All that does is strip your buffs, but uh, she misses all. So a lot like people are building a really high damage, so that like never does anything. Um. Yeah, we just hit this. All right, so she's dead. So 16k. Uh, that probably that would have killed basically any um, rem. Hmm. I'm going to antagonize you a little bit. I probably should have done that on the politics because I'm going to get hit by him anyway. So he's going to hit me again. Could have got stunned there. I always get stunned by them. So irritating. Okay, so we, I have, um, okay, there's that, okay, so now we're going to ask three him. You want to be careful when you're doing this, because sometimes the crowd, um, gets too low, and then, like, he'll kill you, so, it was really risky to have hit them with the S2, hit him with the S2, but it was, especially my crowd is not as tanky, he's only 24,000 uh, HP. I'm going to hit you. So, if you're, depending on how squishy he is, you want to be careful when, like, how much damage you're, like, dumping into him. Um, but I like his speed, though. I will say, he has, his build hasn't been updated in, like, a year. He's been on the same gear for a whole year, almost, basically. Um, because he's basically just done, I mean, he's done, he's, I mean, he's never steered me wrong. Like, I've always, like, every time I brought him in, he's been perfect for the situation I brought him into. So, there's really no reason to, 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 to fret. Uh, let's go hit someone else. Um, go get that. I'm probably going to hit Bronchitis. Let's look at some weird names here. And Thais. Brosthetics. I'm going to... I'm going to hit Bronchitis here. I have some weird names. I never really look at the names. but <laughs> Some pretty silly names here. Oof, this top one, this 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 one right here looks like utter cancer. I don't know what I'm going to do against this. Uh, yeah, this looks horrible. Um, maybe I'm not going to hit Bronchitis. This looks like an interesting team. <laughs> Should I just bring... Um, I'll fire into this. Will this work? I'm doubtful. Do I care very much? No. <sighs> this top team, I don't like it. It doesn't look like I'm probably going to die. It looks like I'm probably going to die. <sighs> I think I'm going to bring Crow. Let's bring Crow. Let's bring... Um. Uh, who's good here? You're pretty good here. Uh, and we're gonna bring. Actually, you know, you know who's good here. You are, right? Is she good? Cause we're gonna get hit. Yeah, I think she'll be good. Um. And I think I'm gonna bring. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds kind of interesting. Should I bring Ken? This is a bad idea. 
but I think I can take an L here and not be too sad today. Um, yeah, I don't think I mind too much taking this L. What do you guys think? Yeah, I think I'm just going to go in with this. This looks like fun. Um, I think problematically, though, the problem, the thing we're going to face, I was going to say that problematically the problem is, um, but problematically, I think we're, we're going to get our Ken hit with the, with the, with the, what's his name? Um, K-Ron S3, and I don't think that's, obviously, I don't think he's going to survive that. Like, he's going to get hit with this and not going to resist it. He's going to hit with this and probably going to resist this, but he's, I, don't, I doubt he's going to get lowered below 50%, so he's not going to heal back off of him. Um, and then we're probably going to get hit with his S3, and we're not, we're going to counter and then not kill him, and he's just going to sit there. But I really want to bring Ken into something. <laughs> like, damn. So, I guess the other person I could bring into this comp is, uh, what's his name? What's her name? Um, oh, I can't, where is she now? Oh, it's probably, uh, where is she? Moonlight Lilibet, which is right here. It's right here, somewhere here. <laughs> Actually, you know what I could do? Uh, that doesn't seem like a good idea either. Yeah, this just doesn't feel like a really good like solution to to this, regardless. So we're just bringing we're gonna bring we're gonna bring something dumb in and see if uh, see if it helps. Let's take a look at this turn order. Obviously, she goes first, and that Arby's on counter. I didn't expect him to not be on counter, but I also didn't expect him. Yeah, I don't know how I want to phrase that, but uh, let's. I don't know what to do here. We'll hit you, I guess. Okay, so maybe he's not on counter. Maybe he's just on a really weird build that doesn't make any sense. Maybe he doesn't know that to make a counter build, you really have to... Ooh, this is bad. We're going to get hit by this. Oof, and then we're going to get hit by this. Um, she's not going to die because uh, the swift defense scales really well with the uh, Krow, with the mitigation from Krow. Yeah, see, that's not too bad. It's not very good. <laughs> um, okay, so he's probably going to S3 the... Uh, I can't believe he's resisting. I, I have 133... Um, <laughs> 133 effect resistance. Um, on my cannon, he's just resisting like everything for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, okay. So Ken's probably gonna, uh, um, uh, Crow's probably gonna die. This is my last one, so I'm, I'm kind of fine losing the units here. Let's see if Ken can take this. Okay, so he did, and now I'm gonna heal a decent amount off of this. That's not too bad. Um, let's hit you. Uh, so she's gonna hit me. Hopefully, bring me below and then let me counter. Like, yeah, right below, and I didn't counter. Um, come on, crit, please, crit, crit. Just give me one crit. I'm gonna kill you so hard. I'm gonna heal back. No. Well, there's that. I'm probably gonna get killed by this though. Let's see if I die. Come on, can do something, please. <laughs> the only reason he survived the S whatever is yeah. Okay, he's dead. Yep. Uh, my Ken doesn't even have like eighteen thousand HP. Uh, so we kind of knew we were going to take the L there, which probably should have attacked the uh, other one, but eh, it doesn't really matter. So he went after her, which is fine. Even if... I, don't, I have no idea. I'm kind of trying to think about like what would have happened if like he got the taunt off, but we lucky, luckily we didn't get the taunt, and now we get to do this. Uh, we get to kill the Landy. Yeah, see, look, that time... That was enough to do that. It's probably because uh, she didn't have the um, barrier from, or the, the Aureus from the MLCC. And the barrier as well, right? So we're going to see if we can kill her with this. Okay, so under 4k is enough to still kill her. It's just fine. Uh, everybody resisted everything. I don't know what's going on today. We're like super lucky. Uh, now we get a tech buff from you. My ML Mercedes doesn't do a whole lot of damage um, comparatively to like other people's. See, only did like 6k to that to that um, 
flurry. And now they're dead. Yep. There you go. So I have her on counter. Some people are running around lifesteal, which I don't think is bad either. I, it was a really hard decision to choose between the two, but I started putting counter gear on her, and I realized that I have like all the perfect counter stuff to put on her. So I just went with it. I just went with that. Uh, for those of you, I mean, mo most of you probably already know if you've been watching enough of these videos. Um, but yeah, that's uh, Guild War for today. So we kind of uh, messed up that one. I'm not sure what we could have brought in to deal with that. Uh, I do feel like uh, the Dilly Bet could have been fine there, but I really needed something else. Um, the fact that I killed the RB and took two S3s before my t Siren got to do uh, anything else is kind of dumb. What I really should have done was, like, instead of hitting the RB with her, with, um, with t Siren, I really should have focused down the... Um, that guy, what's his name? <laughs> the Kron, I keep forgetting his name. I really should have uh, focused on the crayon to make sure that when he took his turn, all he was gonna do was hit me with a one S three, and then that was it, right? Like just to, but the, I mean the problem was I took one S three, I took an S two, or I took an S one AOE, and then I took another S three, right? Um, which is not ideal. So you know, there you go. So for those of you who find up who uh, encountered this team, keep that in mind. Um, Arby's kind of a bait, I think. I think. Uh, Arby's kind of a bait, I think. But I think if... I mean, I would have turned out fine if I had just focused on the... Um, on the Crayon. Um, I just took too much damage from him. Um, especially because of how slow that Arby was. Now, if that Arby was faster, who knows? Because then, like, you're trading out... So, in this case, you're trading out... Um, like, damage, right? So, the, if the Arby was faster, he could have S3'd. My units would have taken their turn, um, like maybe killed him, and then he would have like S3 again, but maybe he would have like put an S1 in there somewhere, right? So that way we're taking two RBS3s and an, S an RBS1, uh, whereas normally we took two RBS3s, uh, we took two Crayon S3s and an S1 from Crayon as well. Now if if I had focused the Crayon the other way, we're taking, we would have taken one S3 from him, and then at at, at most, Still two RB S3s, but maybe an extra S2 from RB, but that's still not that bad, right? So um, just keep that in mind. Why, for one, you know, bring better teams, and for two, don't uh, do Guild War <laughs> uh, so late in the day because then you're just dumber. Well, I don't know. I, I feel dumber usually. Um, but yeah, so that's Guild War for today, and um, hopefully tomorrow I'll have a, uh, an RTA video, and we'll, we'll go from there.